they leave behind the corpse of a river. The Grumetti has become a desultory trickle full of debris and baked mud. For some crocodiles, this is the moment of truth. Any weak or sickly animals will die. Catfish have hung on until the end in the deepest streams. Where they can't burrow, they are now at the mercy of the marabous. Their appetite for fish has been sated by the glut that has lasted for weeks. For hippos and crocodiles, the nightmare begins. They drag themselves to the last places where they can still find a trace of moisture. They can do nothing but wait. Bulls, cows and young lie close together. Although they are all lethargic, small conflicts still flicker into life. The young suffer most. The old bull has disappeared. Perhaps this season was just too hard for him. Most of the crocodiles now lie on dry mud under shady bushes, while others squeeze between the hippos in the damp hollows. This is no time to be born. The baby hippo could hardly have chosen a worse moment. But in most years, by the end of September, the river is flowing again with fresh grass growing around it so that his mother can produce plenty of milk. But not this year. For the huge animals, there is nothing more to eat anywhere. They are living on their reserves, and hardly any of the mothers has milk. She can't do much for her newborn baby. Even for older youngsters, these weeks are critical. Necessity, they say, is the mother of invention. Warthogs have been digging for water in the sandy parts of the riverbed. This has never been seen until now. A metre down, the sand is still damp. A huge effort and a lot of patience earns a couple of mouthfuls. The baboons hope for their share and accept all manner of insults as they wait for a chance. Finally, the first adult hippos die. They are usually particularly old or sick animals that have no strength left. Not only the vultures benefit, Nile monitors also take their share. Even the baboons feed on exhausted animals stuck in the mud. Even for the military monkeys, things are gradually getting difficult. The trees have hardly any fresh galls, and the gum flows only sluggishly after months of drought. But there is hope. A shower during the night has caused toadstools to spring up on an old termite mound, a bonanza for the hungry monkeys. After the monotonous diet of the past months, the fresh fruit bodies are wonderfully welcome. Scattered until now, the whole troop gathers round. Quarrels are inevitable. Social pressure soon drives them apart again. Military monkeys rarely feed so close together. The luscious meal of toadstools didn't come by chance. This evening, too, promising clouds appear on the horizon, and tonight there will be more than a few small local showers.